everybody, my name is John Keel and welcome back to WatchGage.com. Um, I'm here today to do a quick video, a review of one of our very first partner brand which was Gorilla Watches. We launched with Gorilla Watches about five weeks ago. Um, so I want to do a review of the watch, give you a real in-depth look of the particular piece itself, uh, how it's constructed and, and how it looks and feels on the wrist. Um, Real quick wrist check, I'm wearing a Lou and Huey Phantom. Uh, dig this piece, I don't even carry the brand, I'm just a big fan of uh, Christopher Vale stuff. You know we carry NTH's other brand, but uh, Lou and Huey Phantom's a great piece, I love it. Um, so let's get into Gorilla a little bit. So Gorilla Watches uh, is a micro brand based in Switzerland. It was founded, designed, run, operated by a gentleman by the name of Octavio Garcia. Now. For those people who are really into watches and really into following the industry, you might recognize Octavio's name uh, because he was the lead designer for Audemars Piguet from 2002 to 2015. Uh, he's pretty much a legend in the industry. Um, quick fact about Octavio, which is really cool, is he's not Swiss, he's not French, he's not German. He was actually born and raised here in the United States. Uh, was a, a obsessed and a big fan of comic book art and things like that, became a designer and ended up over, uh, you know, being one of the greatest designers uh, in the industry of our time over with Audemars Piguet. So he left, uh, he left Audemars in 2015 for the sole purpose to create his own brand, which we now know as Gorilla Watches. Um, Gorilla Watches, was, the brand was a big, it was a big deal for us to, become their first authorized retailer in the United States. Not only because we, I'm sorry, in the world, the first retailer in the world. Um, not only because we were their very first retail partner, um, but I, I feel like there was a lot of uh, symbionts between Octavio and Gorilla and then myself and Watch Cage. You know, I was in the high-end part of the industry for 18 years and, you know, I still have other things going on in the high-end part of the industry, but my main focus now is watch gauge, which is focusing on micro brands. So I've made that transition from the high end part of the industry into the micro brand world, and Octavio sort of did the th same thing. So, so it really was kind of um, a good part of the reason why we decided and chose Gorilla as our first partner brand. You know, like I said, five six weeks ago. So their very first watch is called the Gorilla Fastback, which is what I'm going to review for you today. Um, the Fastback itself is a phenomenal watch. The first model they made, the one that I'm gonna show you, was a limited edition, numbered pieces, they did 500 pieces for the world. Almost completely sold out worldwide right now. For our launch uh, a couple of weeks ago, Gorilla was kind enough to dedicate 10 pieces to watch gauge for us to sell. Um, so far, I believe we sold through five of them, um, so we have five left, so after you see this review, if you love it, um, in the description here on you, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the description will be the link to our website where you can actually purchase the watch. Um, so without any further ado, why don't we get into the watch, which I have here on my desk in front of me, and uh, I'll reposition the camera, you'll get a look at it, and I'll tell you all about it, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. Okay, so I'm going to handle this uh, sort of like an unboxing that rolls into a um, into a review of the watch. Um, but here we are. So this is the way the Gorilla Fastback comes. W one thing that you've probably heard me say a few times, and I'll say it over and over and over, I absolutely love that logo. What a badass screaming gorilla logo that is. Um, and it definitely matches the boldness and, and how badass the watch is as well. So uh, this is the outer box here. Let's let's get this open to the inner box, which is there. Again, the screaming gorilla logo, gorilla in gold there. And kind of shake this open, put that aside. Uh, so first thing we get here is the instruction manual on top. Right underneath that is the watch. Uh, it's got plastics on it. I'll remove those for you. Um, so that's the way the watch comes. Uh, they're being delivered on a rubber strap and inside the box is a perforated racing style leather strap. So um, 
The Gorilla Fastback and the Gorilla brand is kind of combines uh, Octavio's love of muscle cars and uh, and you know of, of you know the 60s and 70s American made muscle cars of the 60s and 70s. So it's a racing inspired watch, a racing inspired design. A couple of the key aspects that make it a racing style watch. Um, somehow you might expect um, a racing watch really not to, to, to work all that well. You know, it's it typically has different elements, different design cues that sometimes are too racing inspired or too look too much like a, a dashboard of a clock or something of that nature. I completely believe that the Gorilla Fastback nails the design um, perfectly. So let's uh, before we before we get into the construction of the case and and a couple of finer details, let's get let's get some of the specifics out of the way. Um, we'll measure this guy up. I already know the measurements naturally, but we'll do it here on camera for you anyway. It's a 44 millimeter case. All right, from side to side, not including the crown and crown guards. Uh, and the height is 13.4, 13.5 millimeters. Uh, so it's a sizable watch for sure. I personally am not or have never really been a fan of oversized watches that are too large. Um, the one thing I can tell you is the way this case is shaped and the way the watch uh, feels on your wrist, it does not feel like a really huge watch to me. I'll strap it on in just a moment. Um, so the size is out of the way. A lot of people ask us about the weight and I'll tell you why in a few minutes, but Putting this guy on a scale here, you'll see it's 107.2 grams on the rubber strap. So, for those of you who will know about the weight of watches, that's a that's a pretty light watch considering the size of it. Um, and again, before we get into the construction, into the construction and how it's made, which again is, in my opinion, the the craziest aspect of the watch. Let me throw it on my wrist for you real quickly here. So, I've got a seven and a half inch wrist, um, which is a pretty average size, very average size. Um, on my wrist, it is super comfortable. Now, as I mentioned, the way that the case wraps around the wrist, it, it curves down on both sides, front and back, and if I can angle myself here correctly. Um, so it's extremely comfortable, extremely wearable. I find on the rubber strap, it doesn't move a bit, but it doesn't feel constricting on me. Um, so, and I'll tell you another reason why it feels so good on the wrist is because it's extremely light. For this size of a watch, it's extremely light. And the reason for that is the construction. So, um, the the watch itself is powered by a Miyota 8015 automatic movement. Um, it's a workhorse, it's a great movement. You know, I, being a watch guy, I follow a lot of the blogs, I follow a lot of the, um, uh, of the forums and the, and the Facebook groups and stuff, and there are certainly people out there that do not love or do not like the Miyota 8015 um, for whatever reasons. Maybe it's something they've read, maybe it's something they've heard. I can tell you I've been wearing my personal Gorilla for over four months now. It winds perfectly, it runs perfectly, keeps excellent time, uh, hasn't failed me a single bit. The one complaint I find funny is I read on online, I see it, I'm not, I'm not, you know, stirring any crap with anybody, but it's just, to me, I find it comical. You know, you can hear the rotor. I don't know if, uh, if I move this over closer to the microphone, right? So you can hear that rotor when you're moving. Now, a lot of people complain about that. Um, I find it very funny because for 18 years, I sold watches in a, in a, in a retail environment, in a wholesale environment. And whenever I was selling a watch that had, let's say, a ETA 7750 on a, on a six or seven thousand dollar chronograph watch from a big name brand, people would say, "Wow, I love this watch. I can hear the rotor. I can feel the rotor." But somehow, when it's in a in a watch that's sub one thousand dollars, people tend to complain about it. So I really don't get it. That being said, the Miyota 8015 is a great movement. It uh, is reliable. It keeps great time. Um, so now let's get into the construction. I mean, this is where I think, I, this is where the rubber definitely meets the road, pun intended for a racing, racing inspired watch, is the construction of this watch. Um, I'm gonna break it down basically from the top to the bottom, going from the crystal down to the case back. Uh, the materials are really what this watch is about. So you have a sapphire crystal, uh, anti-reflective sapphire crystal on the front. You've got 
a ceramic top piece case, case piece. So this black, shiny black here is ceramic. As you know, ceramic will not scratch. It doesn't, it doesn't show any sign of age or wear. So all you have to simply do is put a polishing rag on there once in a while to get the fingerprints off or whatever, or dust off, or run it under a sink, and, uh, and it's gonna look this brand new all the time. Um, one thing that I love the way it pops is this red band or this red, I call it a racing stripe in this particular case. The red, red racing stripe here is anodized aluminum, right? So you have the ceramic underneath that is the anodized aluminum. And this brings us to what I feel is the most special part of this watch is the, the main construction part of the case, this black here. If you could see, if I can get enough detail with, uh, with this angle, you could see that there's a pattern in this in this case. It's forged carbon. Forged carbon is extremely hard, extremely light, and very, very difficult to work with. When you see a forged carbon watch case, it is typically from the likes of Audemars Piguet, from uh, Hublot in the 20 to 25,000 or even more range. So this forged carbon is the same exact material you'll find in those watches. Finally, You'll see the crown here and the case back. Those are titanium, right? So again, sapphire crystal, ceramic, anodized aluminum, forged carbon, and titanium. Some of the greatest, uh, most modern materials in the watch industry at the moment, all packed into one watch that's under $1,000. To me, that's just bananas. That's what drove me to this watch. That's what made me really want to get one in my hands and ultimately end up representing Gorilla on watch, watchgauge.com. So let's take a look at this case back. It's one of my favorite parts of this watch. Okay, sorry about that. I had to splice the video because we had a loud car out in my parking lot honking. So let's get back to this case back. I absolutely love the case back of the Gorilla Fastback. Um, you've got the awesome screaming logo, the screaming Gorilla logo back here, okay? Very nicely engraved. You've got the different elements of the watch construction. You've got the, uh, the carbon, titanium, aluminum, ceramic, sapphire crystal, automatic movement, fastback, water resistant to 10 atmospheres, if you guys could see that. Really just an amazingly done case back. Up here, let's see if I can get it at a right angle number 117 of 500. So one of you lucky individuals will get to own number 117 of 500. So uh, that's what this case is made of. That's what this watch is constructed of. Um, now let's get into some of the design elements. Again, something I absolutely happen to love, the design of this watch. Again, I'm not typically into really oversized watches. The way this wears, the, the weight of it, to me, it doesn't feel like a 44 millimeter watch. Um, but as far as the design elements are concerned, so you've got almost this octagonal uh, shaped case. And I don't mean oct octagonal in the way of an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. You've got uh, the elongated sides here and the corners are cut. So it kind of gives you that six sided feel. Um, you've got titanium hex heads here, which if you noticed on the back, go through, that's what holds the case together. So the screws back there on the corners are attached to those hex heads on the front. And uh, moving on to the dial. So as I had mentioned, Octavio is a huge, huge uh, passionate fan of muscle cars, American muscle cars from the 70s. So taking the racing inspired theme, uh, the dial itself, the printing on the dial itself, instead of having the hours written out, so 12, 1, 2, 3, they chose to go with the minute markers, which to me looks exactly like you might see on the dashboard of, of an old muscle car. It's got really great font, really great print to it. Um, again, to me, it's just, it, it really is just screaming, you know, muscle car dashboard with that font. Um, Outer, outer perimeter there, you've got the minute hash marks in that Cambridge bezel, internal bezel, uh, the Gorilla brand name up there at 12 o'clock. So then we kind of move into what is really pretty interesting. You've got, again, you've got the hour hash marks here, uh, little hashes on the inside. But let's look at the way this thing tells time. It 
people people kind of said, hey, man, it can be a little bit confusing. Once you point it out, it's really very simple. It's a three-handed watch, okay? You've got your hours, minutes, and seconds. The second hand you can see there ticking. With It's a black hand with a white tip. The minute hand, which I love, again, reminds me of, uh, of an old car, you know, as if this were the needle. That minute hand is in red, and it's got that, uh, that uh, trapezoid type of shape point on it there. It's a four-sided, uh, you know, almost triangle there, but it doesn't go to a complete point. So to me, again, it looks like, let's say that were the tachometer gauge. That would be the hand that moves up. So that's the minute hand. Now the hour hand is this white hand here facing almost uh, almost 11 o'clock or the 55 minute mark. That's the white hour hand there, which is illuminated. You've got loom on the, the minute hand and the second hand as well. And then the hash marks are loomed as well. Opposite of that hour hand is this, uh, you know, I, I kind of laugh. It almost looks like that Wi-Fi symbol, but you've got the four white stripes in a circular pattern. They're actually attached to the hour hand. I'll show you how that works in a moment. One of the cool, really uh, fine detailed aspects is in between each one of the black lines here, there's uh, underneath that is actually a pattern. It's got a, a, a circular graining type pattern, um, which is gonna be difficult for me to capture here on video. Maybe I'll throw a photo up in the video to, get you, to show you in detail. Um, but really finely done. This style has a lot of dimension, has a lot of um, a lot of things going on, and I'll show you it in operation so you could see that whole circular pattern thing going on there. So um, unscrew the crown. It's a screw down crown, and pull it out. As time goes on, you could see that completely opposite on the opposite side of the hour hand, that white circular pattern is rotating with. So that hour hand is actually a, uh, a disc there in the center. Really nicely done. Super easy to read time. Isn't close to as confusing as it may look in pictures uh, once you realize how this thing is operating. Um, let's take a look at the crown real quick. I, I dig this crown. I'm not usually a guy who looks at crowns and say, wow, it's a great crown. In this case, I did. The first minute I got my hands on it, uh, the most unique part right off the bat is it's not round, right? Almost every crown I've ever held in my hands has been round. This one actually has uh, a triangular pattern with a round part there as well. Um, it's a screw down crown as I mentioned. This crown is one of the easiest to grip operate crowns that I've ever felt and used. You know, to wind it, to set it, um, to screw it back in, super, super duper easy and those really massive crown guards there. So, um, you know, maybe against the black back, black background, you can't see it all that well, but on, uh, against my desk background there, you could see really fantastic crown guards, which are forged carbon, part of that case. Okay, as I mentioned before, comes on a rubber strap, perforated holes to give you that, you know, racing feel, that racing uh, inspiration, kind of like the old uh, driving gloves of, of the past. Titanium buckle. Which, uh, which is a, is a really hefty size. One of the blogs I was reading uh, pointed something out that I think I might have missed. With this pattern here on the crown, I mean on the, on the buckle, it, it, it's reminiscent of let's say a racing um, gas pedal or brake pedal um, with that diamond shaped pattern there. So your foot wouldn't slip off the pedal in a racing car. Same deal here with the crown. I'm, geez, I keep saying crown, I apologize for that. With the buckle, um, it's a really well-made buckle, titanium, Gorilla logo on the inside. I'll tell you, the, the attention to detail on this watch is really off the charts. The construction of this watch is off the charts. And now to the price. This watch retails for $880. Um, to me, it's just bananas. To me, that is just a, an unbelievable watch for the price point. Wears perfectly on a seven and a half inch wrist. A uh, good buddy of mine who uh, who ended up buying one of these actually has a smaller wrist, and he pulls it off uh, with no sweat. And it's just to me, this is this is what watch gauge is about. Watch gauge is about finding really ridiculously under uh, under known watches, micro brand watches that people haven't heard of that are completely over engineered. Um, you know, just just coming from the world that I come from in the high end watch world, this to me. 
if it had a different name brand on it, would have sold for four or $5,000. Imagine Tag Heuer making a watch out of uh, titanium, forged carbon, aluminum, ceramic, automatic. Imagine that. That watch would be 4,500 bucks in a heartbeat. So um, Gorilla Watch, Gorilla Fastback, I love it. The additional strap, uh, great design, great construction, and super duper proud to have them on board. Just as a quick sidebar, Gorilla just recently announced a new color palette. So they're introducing three new color versions of this watch, which we have ordered. I expect them to come in sometime toward the end of October. So keep your eye out uh, for those on Watch Gauge. And uh, let me jump back around the desk here and, and bid my farewell. So there we have it. Um, the Gorilla Fastback, phenomenal watch. Let me, uh, let me just throw it on here, get a look from the distance. Um, unbelievable watch. Love having them on our site. I love wearing my personal one for sure. And um, something real cool that I have hanging up here in my office. I don't know how well you can see this. Um, Gorilla logo. When I opened, when I first opened the box when we received the Gorilla Fastback, this was sitting on top. Gorilla logo. Handwritten note from Octavio, which is just great personal touch. Uh, we are proud to be part of the Watch Gauge family, signed Octavio. So uh, super duper proud to have them on board. Looking forward to a long business relationship together. And um, so let's settle up here. In closing, thank you very much for taking a look at the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love the watch. We have five left on Watch Gauge, watchgauge.com. All links, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, all links will be in the description. Down in the lower right hand corner, there's a uh, Watch Gauge logo. Make sure you click on that and subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Uh, anything you want to talk about, fill in the comment section below. I'll get back at you for sure. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Both both media outlets on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Watch Gauge, as well as our Facebook page is Facebook, facebook.com slash Watch Gauge. Go there and like that. Follow all of our stuff, like all of our stuff, share, spread the love. If you love watches, tell all your friends about us. Since launching five, six weeks ago with Gorilla, we have launched NTH watches, Elliott Brown, um, and Mercer. I will be launching another brand this week. Okay, so today is, I believe, October 11th. We will be launching another brand this week. So keep coming back for that as well. Appreciate all the support and, uh, and look forward to introducing that new brand and hearing from you guys and continuing this fun journey. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Take care.